login frame. All right, okay, yeah. so. The system has four main components. Resource management, a T-card board, an incident log, and the personnel deployment record. Resources are managed using three tables, personnel, cave rescue teams and equipment. When a volunteer arrives on site, their status is set to either available or resting. The status can also be set to stood down. For ease of recognition, the status is colour coded. All status changes are date and time stamped. A timer shows how long since the last status change. Once a status has been set to available, the volunteer automatically appears in the available but not allocated list. Buttons allow data in the table to be sorted or filtered. The operation of the equipment table is similar to that of the personnel table. When kit arrives on site, its status is set to available and the system places it in the available but not allocated column. Confined space. Up to 24 teams can be deployed. Each team can be allocated up to 12 personnel and 12 items of equipment. Team names can be edited. Team members and equipment are selected from in-cell drop-downs fed from the relevant available columns on the resources worksheet. As people and items are placed on the T-card board, the system removes them from the available lists. Click a Deploy Team button to add individual deployment times and start the team deployment timer running. Each team has a deployment timer. A whole team or named individuals can be stood down. This panel provides useful statistics relating to deployment. All actions initiated on the T-card board are automatically recorded in the incident log. This button allows anything else to be recorded in the log. Log entries can be flagged as important or critical decisions. Flagged entries have a light red background for quick identification. All entries are automatically date and time stamped. The log can be copied to the clipboard for printing. The log is password protected so entries cannot be altered. The personnel deployment record is part of the resources worksheet. It is normally hidden but can be revealed using a shortcut key combination. Up to six status changes and associated times are automatically archived. Available and resting times are calculated along with cumulative volunteer hours. The system can be run on an extended desktop so that, for example, resources can be managed on one screen while the status of the T-card board can be viewed on another. The implementation of the CRIM system for GCRG has been a game changer. Simple and easy to use, extremely user-friendly, yet provides a wealth of information for those running the rescue. <laughs>